In this video, I will show you how to do instrumental variables in SAS. Please also watch before this video my other two videos called the instrumental variables and instrumental variables example. I have opened up here my SAS program and I have already executed it and got the results and you can download the program and the data from my website and you can follow along. So here's the data that we have. It's on medical expenses and that would be our dependent variable and we would have log medical expenses. This is the variable that we want to explain. For independent variables, one of them would be health insurance and that would be our endogenous variable. And then we would have several exogenous variables including age and then we would have the number of illnesses and we would have log log of income as our another exogenous uh, variable here okay so here's um, reading in the data and this is proc means and you can see some descriptive statistics for the data again this is called dependent variable here. This is our endogenous variable for which we will be making the IV estimations. These three are our exogenous variables and these would be instruments that we'll be using. So the first thing that we can do is just estimate an OLS regression and we could use, this is the dependent variable, this is the endogenous and then you list all the exogenous variables and you can have more than one um, endogenous variable as well you just have to have at least as many instruments as you have endogenous variables so here's the normal OLS regression and these are the results that we have and I'm going to concentrate on this coefficient on our endogenous variable and the way to interpret it is that for one unit increase in this uh, endogenous variable, we have that many units increased in the dependent variable. So we could say for people that have health insurance, they have 7.5% more in medical expenses. And I'm saying it in percent because the dependent variable is in logs. And the rest of the variables are interpreted just like a normal OLS regression. So in order to do the two-stage least square estimation for the just identified model, just identified means that we have as many uh, instruments as we have endogenous variables. And here we have, this is our endogenous variable. And for instruments, you can use all of your exogenous variables. And this is the true instrument that we have here for this endogenous variable. So you need to have as many of these instruments as you have endogenous variables here. And the model would be specified exactly the same as the OLS regression here, if you notice it's the same thing, only that instead of using the actual value here from the data, we would use the predicted value coming from a regression of this variable on all of these instruments here. So regress this one, the endogenous variable of health insurance on the exogenous ones and the instrument get the predicted values and substitute the predicted values. So in this results that we have here for the two-stage least square estimation, instead of the original variable, we have the predicted values here. And look at what happened with the coefficient. Before it was positive and significant, now we have it negative and significant. So those that have health insurance uh, have 85% lower uh, medical expenses that, than those that don't have uh, health insurance. So a big change due to the fact that this regressor was endogenous. We can also estimate a two-stage least squares when we have over-identified model and that means we just have more instruments than we have endogenous variables and you see that's the only difference between this and this step we just have more instruments than endogenous variables and you can see the results that we have here 
that coefficient changed from minus 0.5 to po minus 0.96 so we have in this case we have a little bit more more negative reaction here um, but that doesn't have to be the case so you need to be careful and try several instruments if you can find several instruments when you're doing your own study so this is the case where we have single equation in other words we just have a dependent variable and a variable regressed on a variable that's endogenous plus exogenous variables so what happens if we have systems of equations now we have two dependent variable you see like how this is a dependent variable here but it's the endogenous variable in here and this is a dependent variable here and it's the endogenous variable here and it will be good if you have different um, exogenous regressors and here I have fewer regressors than in this stage because if you have the same exogenous regressors here and then you just have um, one instrument in each then you would have the same results with the two-stage least squares and the three-stage least squares. So what does the two-stage least squares do? Instead of just using the raw variables that we have here, it uses the predicted values for these when we regress them on uh, instruments, get the predicted values and plug them into here, and that's when you estimate these uh, two equations by all less and you get the two-stage least squares estimation. And these are the results that we get here. And now instead of one equation, we have uh, two equations here. And notice that this is the coefficient that we have here on health insurance. Those that have health insurance have 167% uh, uh, lower medical expenses. So a different coefficient than we had before when we have two, two equations. And when we use the three-stage, um, and of course with the two-stage least square estimation, you would also have the other equation, which is health insurance is the dependent variable, and this one is now the endogenous variable here, so you would have a, co a coefficient on that. And for the three-stage least squares, it takes into account the two-stage least square estimation plus the, the information across the two equations in the variance-covariance matrix. But if you notice the syntax, everything is the same, except that instead of two-stage least squares up here, you put three-stage least squares. And everything else is basically the same. And the result actually is, um, if we scroll down, this is the three-stage least square estimation here, and this will be the result. right here and we have for for health insurance we have a negative coefficient but uh, it's not as big as we had it before using the three-stage least square estimation so I would recommend using the three-stage least square uh, estimation anytime you have uh, systems of equations so again that was how to do instrumental variables using this was a single equation and these were systems of equations. Thank you for watching.